information systems in context, information technology. Now, we're going to take a look at information technology today. And in relation to the information systems context diagram, it appears right down here in the bottom right corner. So let's talk about what actually makes up the information technology of a system. So by classification, it has two different areas. It is the hardware and the software that is incorporated into an information system. So we're going to discuss those two different components and how they are defined by us in relation to the information system. So firstly is the hardware. Now hardware includes the physical technical components of a system. This means you can actually touch these components. So we're going to do this through and understand it through examples. So firstly are uh, devices for entering data into the system such as your mouse, your keyboard, touch pads, cameras. Okay, I can touch all those components. In fact, I'm touching those components all the time because that's what I use to enter data into the system. Okay, they're my collection devices. All right, so they are classified as hardware. Next, we have devices for displaying. Okay, I'm looking at my monitor right now. Okay, I can touch my monitor in front of me. Okay, my printers, my speakers. Okay, they are all classified as hardware. Okay, we have storage media. Okay, so things that I put in and out of my system. Okay, so magnetic discs such as my hard drive or external drives, optical discs which are CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays, and flash memory such as my solid state uh, drive or uh, SD cards or uh, USB flash drives. They are all classified as hardware. And then finally, we have also the things inside my computer. Although I can't physically touch them at the moment, they still exist inside my computer and I could touch them. So things such as the internal components like the CPU, the RAM and the motherboard, they are all hardware. So anything physical that I can hold is hardware. I don't have it listed here because I ran out of room, but transmission media as well, my switches, my routers, okay, um, network cabling, that is also classified as hardware too. So on the flip side, we then have our software, the other side of information technology. Okay, now these are the elements of the system that are made up of programming code. Okay, so the things that I type up in Python or in HTML or Visual Basic, okay, where I've used a programming language. I can't touch programming language. Okay, it is all electronic and exists within the system. Okay, and it tells my computer what to do. All right, so they're the electrical components that are made up of code. So we have two subclassifications within software, okay, and they are system software, which are the programs that allow the system to run, such as the operating system. So here I'm using a Macintosh computer, okay, and I'm running a version of Mac OS X, okay, I think it's High Sierra at the moment. If you're using a Windows based system, okay, you're probably using a version of Windows 10 at the moment. All right, so they are operating systems. But then we've also got utilities that allow us to manage our system. Okay, so I have a backup utility on my system called Time Machine, okay, which helps save backups to my system. Okay, so that is also system software. Okay, Windows machines also have things such as disk defragmentation and disk cleanup, utilities that help the system stay maintained. All right, so system software relates to the use and maintenance of the system. Okay, the other classification of software is application software. And these are the programs which are used by users in order to complete their tasks. So this includes things such as word processes, spreadsheets, presentation software, authoring software, web browsers, and thousands of other classifications, okay? So things that users use to do to their day-to-day -day work, okay? So information systems are made up of these two categories of software. So I hope this video has given you a nice introduction to what information technology is. It is the hardware and software that makes up the information system, okay? The hardware, which is the physical components, things I can touch and connect together to make the physical system itself. And then the software components, all the programming code that makes up all the different software, the operating system software, the system software itself, and the application software, okay, that allows the actual programs to run. So I hope you understand information technology.